Hey, 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 Aspen Mountain peeps. Happy Thursday to you. Hopefully you're having a wonderful day. Um, we've been busy this morning. We had a little bit of a training this morning on some of the new technology on the water heaters and how to install it, how to program it, how to set it up. We uh, also have been busy with a lot of water heaters lately and a lot of sewer cleans going on. Uh, today I'm going to talk a little bit about how to recondition your pipe, how to get it to where you can get a brand new pipe basically out of your old one. Um, but before we do that, if you're watching on Facebook and you're watching this live, type live. Let us know where you're watching from. I really like to see that. It's really cool. It just warms my heart that people all over the world are watching us. Um, if you're watching on replay, type in replay. Let me know. Again, let me know where you're from. If you're watching this on YouTube and you haven't subscribed, subscribe to our channel. Get the little bell and you'll get notifications when we go live. Like I said, after I get done with this stuff on Facebook, within a couple hours, it's live on YouTube. So... We've got that system down pretty good now. So today, we uh, Tanner had a call to, we've been out this place a couple times, and this individual's pipe has gone from a 3-inch, which looks like this, to a almost an inch and a half with scale. Let me see if I can do this without killing myself, because um, it's just me in the shop here. Um, to, let me see if I can get it here. Sorry, folks, I'm trying to do this here. It's gone about from that diameter to this diameter because of scale buildup. And this is what it would look like. So this original diameter of this pipe was right here. And basically what I'm talking about is this, where it gets narrowed down. And basically what's happening is over time, these metal pipes, especially cast iron, will start to rust and build up. And they build what they call, we call it scale. And it basically builds up on the side walls of the pipe. And so basically what we have is a tool called a flex shaft machine. And basically what we do is we'll come in and we'll literally ream out that pipe. And we use a chain head that literally sweeps that pipe and just cleans it completely off. And it'll, it'll take care of minor roots. It'll take care of um, your drains that look like that. And it'll just completely wipe, them, wipe it out as far as rust goes. Um, and then after we have that done, you can now refurbish your pipe and I've talked about this before um, I'm going to show you the smaller one because it's just easier but um, you can refurbish your pipe and recoat it with a polyurea it looks just like that um, I, I use green just because I, I can see it real good in in the dark and it lines up for me good um, can't really get it to focus there we go so it'll oh man that's not focusing where the crud I apologize about that but um, you, we have a machine called a coating machine, and basically what we can do is come in and coat it, and basically it turns your old pipe into like a brand new pipe. Any of the pitting that's taken place on the inside, after we've descaled it, it'll inside that pitting and make it smooth. Um, and now that doesn't look as smooth. On, on a cast iron pipe, that, that pitting, and it turns it into almost a plastic pipe. pipe. And that has almost a warranty on it itself resistant it's uh resistant to all sorts of, of uh chemicals that can be put down it well they're they're pretty heavy duty but if you have a problem with pipe and you're having us uh, regular 